What I'd like to do now is to uh, give you a function or a routine that will help you in uh, future assignments opening up a file. It's a very common thing to do and there's uh, some standard ways to approach it. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to open up an input file. and this All we're going to do is open up the input file and show you a function that does it. This is my code right here. You'll see I've got IOStream and FStream uh, declared at the top, namespace standard. I put in here a constant max uh, file name size is 80. That's just a good round number. You can make them larger than that. I wouldn't make them any smaller though. And I've declared a function. I've called it get a name and open a file. And it's got two parameters. Uh, an input stream object and a character uh, pointer uh, representing the file name. And all we're going to do is we're going to declare the uh, uh, input stream file, uh, file object the file name and we're going to call it and then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to turn around and close it input file dot close now we're going to show you the routine to do that here's the routine I'll leave it up there so you can take a look at it very simple very simple routine first thing you do is you output a message say uh, enter a file name to open then you read it in then immediately try to open and then after that you check the status of it is it open if it's not open that's the exclamation point in front of it then what you do is you issue another message, input uh, invalid file name, re-enter, and then you try to read it in and open it again. The open is the last thing you do before it goes back up to the top of the while loop and checks it. If it's open, it returns from the routine, and both the ifstream object, which points to the file, is the address of the file, and the file name itself is returned back to the called routine, which is very important because if you close this file and open it again, you need the file name. You need the file name. Now, just to show you that it's there, here is the location of the file name, and you'll see the uh, path of where the file is actually located. This is in Visual Express. This is where I store my projects. Uh, there's a video out there on how to uh, find out where the input files and output files are actually located, and please go over that video. There's one for a PC, there's one for a Mac. Anyway, I'm going to open up road.txt, move this back here. So we'll build it. We'll build the solution. And then we will debug it. Okay, open up file. We'll say, well, this this dot text, this is an invalid file name, it's invalid. We'll enter one that is. Well, I know this one's there. Press any key to continue. Very good. Easy. Use this routine whenever you're opening up a file, an input file especially. Uh, very nice little routine. Now then, what I'd like to do is show you how to read the thing in the file, character by character, which is going to be handy to know how to do on uh, your uh, uh, next assignment. Now I'm going to go pause the uh, program right now and enter in the code, so we don't waste a lot of time you watching me type the code. So I'm going to pause it here real quick, and then uh, when I reappear we'll have some code in there. All right, here we go again. So now we've written some code, and what I've done here is I've added this code right here. I've added the uh, character. I want to read in a character. And then I've added these two lines of code right here. While, and what I'm going to do is, from the input file, I'm going to get a single character, and I'm going to put it into input character, which is the thing I declared up here. I'm going to turn right around, and I'm going to print it out. Now, I, I'm going to show you this. It's a little tricky right here. I'm, while I'm doing it, I'm going to change it to uppercase. That's the function to upper. So I'm passing the input character I read in to upper to change it. And I have to cast it as a character. Now, you might think that's not necessary. Let me run it here and show you. I'm going to build it. I'm going to build the solution. Okay. And now I'm going to debug it. I'm going to start without debugging. And I'm going to enter in row.txt, a poem by Robert Frost. You should know it. Okay, so that looked okay. It read in the poem, uh, changed everything to uppercase. Now, let me take this character off. Okay, let me take this off. Now, let me show you what happens. Now, I'm taking a character and I'm transferring it to an uppercase character. But let's see what happens. This is a very kind of weird thing. And if you don't know exactly how it works, this will. This will confuse you. Let me debug. Start without debugging. Everything looks okay. I'm going to say road.txt and whoop, a lot of numbers. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, what happened here? Well, what happened was that the C out uh, 
looked at the output from this and saw it as a, an integer rather than an ASCII character and it displayed it as an integer. So what we have to do is we have to tell C how to treat this as a character and we cast it as a character and then then it'll work just fine. So this is a feature that illustrates uh, how we go about uh, reading in a file, reading in a character at a time, changing it to uppercase. This one's been printed out to uh, um, uh, standard output, but uh, printing it out to a file wouldn't take much more effort. All right, well, that's this assignment. And uh, next uh, couple of videos I think I'm going to make, I don't know if I'll make it anytime soon, is uh, how to read a word at a time, how to read a line at a time. They're also very handy to do. And I'll just modify this assignment to show you how to do that. Very good. On the next one.